Thank you for choosing the iSpring Reverse Osmosis System. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we begin, please make sure your water pressure is 25 PSI or above. If your water pressure is higher than 90 PSI, a pressure regulator may be needed. This product is designed for indoor use only. The system requires a power outlet. The operating temperature range is 40 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system requires a drain pipe for wastewater. The system may require drilling a hole into the sink or countertop for faucet installation. Ensure all parts are included in the package and all the required tools are ready. Installation, feed water adapter. The feed water adapter fits standard half inch and 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different sized fitting, you will need a converter. Step one, turn off the cold water supply valve and drain any air and water in the connector hose by turning on the connected faucet or valve. Step two, unscrew the connector hose. Be prepared to catch any excess water from the hose with a towel. Step three, ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Step four, reinstall the connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step five, turn the feed water valve to the off position. Insert the 3 8 inch tubing half an inch deep into the quick connect fitting, then insert a C-clip to lock the tubing in place. Installation, drain saddle. The RO system requires drain pipes for wastewater. Please insert the drain tube into a drain and secure it to avoid flooding. A drain saddle is required to connect the drain tube to a drain pipe, if needed. To install the drain saddle, step one, choose a spot on the drain pipe that is convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Step two, drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the seal pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step three, cut the end of the quarter inch tubing tip at a 45 degree angle. Insert the tubing through the drain saddle into the drain pipe. Step four, install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to make sure it is secure. Installation, RO drinking faucet, optional. Depending on the system's usage, you may need a dispensing faucet if not connecting to a machine or device. The included faucet offers three installation options. Please select the one that best suits your needs. Option one, bottom mount kit. Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the drinking faucet. If your kitchen sink does not have a pre-existing hole, you will need to drill a hole, half an inch to one and a half inch diameter. Step one, clean and dry the area. Step two, insert the front plate and the rubber washer into the faucet base. Step three, Insert the faucet into the faucet hole. Step four, from under the sink, insert the rubber washer followed by the wing nut into the faucet stem. Tighten the wing nut to secure the faucet. Step five, insert the quarter inch tubing into the quick connect fitting half an inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step six, connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure that you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Option two, top mount kit. A top mount installation kit allows for the installation of a standard drinking faucet on the countertop without the need to reach under the sink. It is designed to save time and hassle. Please note that the top mount kit requires a three quarter inch to one and one quarter inch faucet hole. Step one clean and dry the area. Step two, insert the front plate through the faucet stem and the top mount plate with the rubber side up. Step three, 
Install the metal nut on the faucet stem below the plate. Step 4. Insert the quarter-inch tubing into the quick connect fitting half an inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step 5. Connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Step 6. Lift and tilt the plate. Insert the tubing, fitting, faucet stem, and plate into the hole. Let go of the plate. It will drop and latch onto the metal nut via the triangular grooves on both sides. Step 7. Lift the faucet body to secure the plate and nut. Tighten the faucet by turning it clockwise. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure that you leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Option 3. Faucet Bracket a faucet bracket is used when the faucet cannot be installed on the sink or countertop and needs to be mounted on a wall or a door. To install the bracket, first find the desired location. Then, mark the three mounting screw positions with the bracket on the wall surface. Pre-drill the marked holes with a smaller drill bit, followed by installing the bracket to the surface with mounting screws. Please note, the bracket fits quarter-inch or smaller screws, and a screw anchor is recommended if installing it on a drywall. Ensure the bracket is steady and install the faucet to the bracket according to the installation instructions. Installation Reverse Osmosis Membrane Step 1. Disconnect the quick connect fitting on the membrane housing cap. Unscrew the cap by turning it counterclockwise using the housing wrench. All systems have been tested with pressurized water flow to ensure build quality before being packed. It is normal to see a little water residue remaining in the membrane housing. Step 2. Unwrap and insert the membrane into the housing and make sure the membrane is aligned with the housing. Step 3. Check that the membrane housing O-ring and housing cap O-ring are correctly seated. Screw the cap back onto the housing. Use the housing wrench to tighten the cap with another quarter to half turn of the wrench. Do not over tighten as it can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step four, connect the push fitting back to the membrane housing cap. Repeat these steps to install the remaining two membranes. Pre-filter wash. Filters posted in front of the reverse osmosis membrane are called pre-filters. We recommend performing a pre-filter wash every time you install or replace pre-filters to prolong the RO membrane service life and maximize system performance. Step 1. Unscrew Stage 1, 2, and 3 filter housings. Take out and unwrap all the filters. Step 2. Insert the filters back into their housing and ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step 3. Twist the housing counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Using the housing wrench, tighten the housing another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten as this can cause leaks and make future filter replacement difficult. Step 4. Remove the C-clip and insert the 3 8 inch tubing from the feed water adapter to the system water inlet fitting. Then, insert the C-clip to lock the tubing in place. Step 5. Remove the C-clip and remove the tubing from the first RO membrane housing cap. Step 6. Turn on the cold water supply valve and slowly turn on the feed water valve. Catch water from the tubing with a bucket. Allow water to flush the pre-filters until it runs clear. Check and ensure that no leaks occur. Shut off the feed water valve when finished. The pre-filter wash is now complete. System installation. Step one, reconnect the tubing back to the membrane housing cap. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Step two, remove the C-clip on the wastewater port. Connect the tubing from the drain saddle to the system wastewater port. Insert the C-clip to lock the tubing in place. Step three, 
Connect the quarter inch tubing from your machine, device, or the drinking faucet to the post carbon filter. Insert the C-clip to lock the tubing in place. To install an optional water storage tank, connect the tubing from the water storage tank to the post carbon filter T-fitting. Installation, leak stop valve. The RO system comes with a leak stop valve that can automatically shut off the inlet water from entering the system when it detects a leak, effectively protecting your home from water damage. The valve is highly sensitive to water. Install it with extra caution as the leak stop pad inside the valve will easily absorb water and expand. Thus, it must be replaced every time it comes into contact with water. Step 1. Find a dry and flat spot under the sink close to the system to place the leak stop valve. Step 2. Measure and cut the feed water tubing. With a towel, catch any residual water. If you prefer not to cut the tubing, use an additional piece for the connection. Step 3. Connect the tubing from the feed water valve to the leak stop valve's inlet port. Step 4. Connect the remaining tubing from the system inlet to the leak stop valve's outlet port. Please ensure all tubes are inserted half an inch deep into the fittings. System Startup Please plug the system into a power outlet. The booster pump will turn on automatically when water flows through. Step 1. Ensure the tank valve is in the closed position if the system has a water tank. Turn on the feed water valve and check the connections for leaks. Turn off the feed water valve and fix any leaks before proceeding to the next step. Step 2. Turn on the machine, device, or the drinking faucet to purge out all the air. The water will start to purge within a few minutes. Please note, a drain connection is recommended if your machine or device does not have a drain function. Step 3. Let the water run for at least 10 minutes to drain residual materials from the membrane and filters. Once the water is clear, your system is ready for use. If the system is connected to a water storage tank, shut off the machine, device, or a drinking faucet and turn on the tank valve to fill the tank. Depending on the size of the water storage tank, it usually takes about an hour to fill a standard four gallon tank. Do not use the first tank of water after it is full. We recommend draining out the tank twice before drinking any water from a new water storage tank. Congratulations! Your iSpring reverse osmosis system installation is now complete. Please replace the filters as outlined in the user manual or contact us directly with any questions. Thank you.